Hi everybody, KPG Guna here and welcome to a unboxing, the first one I've actually done on the channel. Now, as you know, I do a lot of sim racing and over the years I've actually had quite a few different wheels. Now, you would have remembered from 2015, obviously, I had the uh, Frostmaster T300 RS, absolutely loved the wheel, awesome force, force feedback. I thought this wheel was pretty sturdy and I did a quite a lot of racing on it, but um, I ran into a few problems with the Frostmaster. I think after about three years, um, it wasn't um, calibrating properly and I, I had to send it back. Uh, they did fix it and send it back to me, but it's never been the same. So obviously I went out and then I bought the Logitech G29, which I've been using for about a year and a half now. Really enjoyed the wheel, but it just didn't have that that uh, force feedback and that feel that the Frostmaster had. So obviously I've been saving and I finally purchased another wheel. You would have seen on the community page, I was debating which wheel to get. It was between the Fanatic and it was between a different Frostmaster. Now, today's unboxing is actually gonna be a double unboxing because I bought a new wheel, but I've also bought an add-on as well, which you're gonna see today. So, but first up, let's get to the unboxing. Really looking forward to this. Now this is a much improved wheel to what I had before. Let's see if we can lift this straight out of the box. And yes, as you can see, it is another Frostmaster. I think most of you and your comments helped me choose this wheel. Someone suggested this one. And it is the Ferrari Integral Racing Wheel Alcatara. Now this thing looks fantastic. It also comes with the T3PA pedals. And if you remember with the, with the normal Frostmaster, you only get the two pedals and they're absolutely shocking. Even the Logitech G29 pedals were 10 times better. But this has the decent pedals and it has this awesome rim, which is actually from the uh, 599XX Evo. And if you actually look up the, the actual wheel, you'll see it's almost identical. It's like a replica. So first up, let's have a look at this wheel. And then once I've got, we've had a look at the wheel, we'll just have a look how it, how it looks and what the paddles are like. I will show you the other add-on that I've bought, which has come just in time as F1 2019 coming out later this month. Let's get in the box first. Oh, look at that. Let's just, let's just take the, uh, I mean, uh, the wheel out first. I mean, obviously it's gonna have the same, the actual motor and base as the T300RS. Um, obviously, hopefully it's a little bit more, you know, improved, obviously, because it's a newer model, but it should be running on the same software. All right, let's just move that out of the way. Let's have a look at this awesome, Oh my God, this looks awesome. And take a look at that. That looks fantastic. And as you can see, it is actually quite a little bit bigger than the old one, but it's got this awesome grip. I've been told that it might be worth getting some racing gloves, but oh, that, that's just, but the good thing about this is with the Frostmaster, you can change the wheels. So, Obviously I've got this one, so you've got the original one, which is always good to have as a spare. But with this unboxing, it doesn't finish there. I also purchased something else. And like I said, with F1 2019 coming out, I thought, let's have something that will benefit me on that game. So I purchased this as well. The awesome TM open wheel add-on. So we're gonna quickly unbox that as well. I think all in all, if you look at the prices, I mean, the, free, the uh, Frostmaster T300RS, I think you can get them for about 260, 270. Uh, obviously the Logitech you can pick up for 150, 150 pound. Obviously the Ferrari one uh, box I've just bought, uh, the Alcantara, is a probably, I think the cheapest you can probably get is about 380. But you've got to bear that in mind, with T3PA pedals, 
they're nearly 180 pound on their own. This is almost 160 pound on its own. So you do get a pretty good deal. Now this add-on was, I think it was about 120 pounds. So all in all, uh, for this setup, it's just over 500 pounds. But I think compared to the prices that the Fanatic cost, because um, I was going to get the F1, uh, the official one for the um, F1 2019 game, I think all in all with delivery, um, obviously because they, 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 they're site, um, throughout Europe, I think it would have cost me about 700 and something pounds. And it's a wheel that I don't know a lot about. And it only has the two pedals. That's not with the three pedals either. I mean, I'm not, I know it's another wheel that you can customise a lot, but I wanted to stick with something I know. And most of you guys said stick with the Frostmaster. So, sort of went with uh, everyone's advice, really. Oh, this looks awesome. Obviously, I'm going to try and do some a lot of wheel cam videos. And I will be testing out both these rims and giving you my opinions on them both but take a look at this guys wow take a look at that fantastic that feels awesome definitely going to need those uh, racing gloves and also um with this this panel actually does come out and you can actually get the digital um electronic dash to as well i think it fits on i've seen a few people with them but originally they were only doing this as a, um, a complete set, only for PC. It was only recently that they actually sell, start selling the add-on. And I think this is perfect for F1. So be using this for the F1 games and all the other racing. It takes a couple of minutes to change over. So yes, I'm very happy. Can't wait to set this up. I mean, it's gonna take me a while to set this all up. And I'm using the uh, GT Omega racing stand. And um, I will, what I do is I leave all the links of all the stuff in the description and also I will leave a link obviously for my stand, my, my chair, I have got a racing chair as well. And it's all coming along. I mean, I will try, I will be doing a setup video soon. I'm, if you know what I mean, I, at the moment, I haven't got one place that I do my racing. I mean, I have got uh, two screens, but um, I just move it around, obviously being a family man. Um, I always get shifted around by my wife, but I will do a setup video very sh soon and I hopefully will get a setup which is going to stay in one place. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to go into too much detail about the wheels. I need to uh, do a bit more research. Um, I can't wait to test them out, that's for sure. And hopefully you enjoy the content coming soon. So that is the unboxing. Don't forget to uh, smash the like button, subscribe. Try and push this channel to 10,000 subscribers. That would be awesome. And don't forget, tomorrow, I'll be starting a series on MotoGP 19. Yes, that's coming to the channel as well. Hopefully, it'll be a lot better than MotoGP 18. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out all the content on the channel, and I will see you very, very soon.